Hello everybody, today I'll be doing my top 5 books of 2013. All of the books I'm about to show I've either given 4 or 5 stars of Goodreads and they are basically the books that I would recommend to people. So in no particular order. So first of all we have The Horological by Mark Forsyth. This is a non-fiction book about the lost words of the English language. The subtitle is A Day's Jaunt Through the Lost Words of the English Language. And that's kind of how the book is set out. It's set out as you're going through the day and using the appropriate words. So for example the book starts like when you wake up and then it ends when you're coming home for the evening. I love the writing style of this book and I found it really interesting. The next book is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. If you enjoy chick flicks you'll definitely love this book. It's about a girl called Sophie who falls in love with an actor and she falls in love with him and the book's basically about kind of like the trappings of fame. The setting is quite idyllic and it really sets the atmosphere and you feel a lot of empathy for the characters in this book. Next we have Diversion by Veronica Roth. I actually listened to the audiobook of this but I loved it so much that I wanted to get the physical copy of it along with Insurgent to got it in a box set. It was really nice to read a young adult story which wasn't wholly focused on the love story. Also I am currently reading Insurgent and I got Allegiant for Christmas and I do intend on doing a full review of the series. And also I'm really excited for the film to come out in March. Next we have Wonder by RJ Palacio and this is a middle grade book so it's basically designed for ch children aged 10 to 11 and it's about a boy called August who has like a facial dis disfigurement disorder who after being homeschooled for the whole of his life enrolls in middle school and goes to public school for the first time in his life. The writing is excellent and I also really enjoyed the format of this book. In places it has really short chapters and it's told in parts from different viewpoints of people in August's life. This book does make you feel like quite emotional and it will basically give you all of the feels. <laughs> then finally we have Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Corral. This is a young adult novel but it's also a graphic novel as the story is entirely told by pictures. It's kind of hard to explain what the plot of the book is so I'll basically read you the blurb. Glory is a piano prodigy. After her mother died, she retreated into her music. Her father raised her with the goal of playing at sold out shows at Carnegie Hall and across the globe. Brilliant and lonely, Glory is drawn to Frank, who moves in next door. She loses herself in his paintings and drawings, mixed CDs and late nights iron conversations. Soon, Frank becomes both a connection to the world and her escape from reality. For long, Glory is unable to play anything but the song Chopsticks. F and G notes we're moving closer together and farther apart. Now Glory has disappeared, but nothing is what it seems, and we must decide what is real, what is imagined, and what has been madness all along. I love this book, and you do like feel for the characters and empathise with them, and this is the kind of book that you can just easily read in one sitting. So that's my top 5 books of 2013. I shall be doing reviews of uh, Wonder and Chopsticks in the near future, as well as a probably my top two favourite books of this year and I want to do like full reviews of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!